Hello, and welcome. I'm Xander, and here is the level 10 road quest. So, Jack has another assignment for you. And what might that be? A fine morning to you, Katarina. And a fine morning it is for a spot of work, wouldn't you agree? This time around, it seems some eager buccaneers scampered aboard a local merchantman and made off with a shipment of muskets. Now, seeing as it ain't lawful to chloe from a lamenting vessel to begin with, the yellow jackets fell upon them daft coves before their boots were even dry. Aye, they caught the pirates right there on the docks, but the stolen boomsticks were no was nowhere to be found. Fenced in a longboat deal, I'm thinking. That's when our guild was officially contracted to retrieve the goods, which weren't really needful since the code would have had us on the job anyway. You don't bite the purses of your fellow Lamentsons and all that. So this is your assignment, me natty lass. Find out where them weapons went and bite that shipment back. Seeing as the cutters uh, as hit that merchantman are already rotten in irons, ye needn't rush with their stabbers of stabbing. I want this job handled quick and quiet, and I've got the perfect partner to show you how it's done. It's the red-haired one. Eh, it's the red-haired Makote. This here's Veb the Stray. Ain't no other rogue what can match her in the arts of skulking. A pleasure. There's some problem, kid. You seem a bit out of sorts. I'm bloody starving. I had one of them finger sandwiches set aside, you know, those egg-filled tasties they make at the Bismarck, but when I got back from me work, it was bloody gone. Uh oh that was Rebs. I thought it was Thunderfoots. Ahem. Well, you just head out on the job, and I'll see if I can't turn that missing sandwich by the time you return. All right, Jack. Ah, uh, one more little detail you should know. Them muskets was meant for the Yellow Jacket's armory, so once all's, all, all is, a, is bob, you can hand the goods to one of them... To one... Uh, Goods to one o oh, their calls directly. That was a mouthful. That's pretty much the biggest downside with trying to read the way pirates say things. Keb. We can start when you're ready, Katarina. I've had a colleague keeping a whirl out for aught that might help us, so I suggest ye have a few wids with her first. Ye'll find her at the Highland posing as a fishmonger. Where, where are you going? Why? Leave. See if I care. Eileen, upper decks. I need to teleport to the aft castle. To the aft castle, good sir. Why well, I'm calling a crystal, sir, but deal with it. Standing around in town so long, I actually gained some rusted XP on Rogue. What is this crap? Hello there, miss. We've carp and trout, lobster and shrimp, but I hear tell you've been looking for a special breed of fish. The long, shiny kind which bark will put a bloke on his ass. We don't sell that kind here, but you might try them foreign merchants. What were they called again? Uh, the Traders of Edge. They all... They hail from the South Sea Isles and are unknown for dealing in all types of nasty spitters and cutters. I should warn ye, these folk ain't ones for questioning the source of their merchandise. In fact, they seem more than happy to pay for goods what came from below decks, so to speak. But if you're still keen on getting your hands on those rare fish, then you'd best hurry the edge merchant what's visiting Lim Limpsa and looking to load up and leave the city afore long. Just how he means to transport his goods remains a mystery, though. What with all those iron blades he's got nursing his operation, it makes it hard for a girl to get close enough to eyeball the competition it does. I'll be sure to keep an eye peeled on your behalf, but it might be as you can learn a little more from the folk round town. Yeah. 
it is so hard to keep up with those words. Oh. Hello, vocab. Traders of Edge, eh? Well, one of them merchants been staying in the city, then someone will know something to point us in the right direction. The trick is to listen without being seen. You'd be surprised how coals will cackle when they think no one else is about. We'll focus on places what see plenty of traffic. You can have the Bismarck, the Ferry Docks, and East Dockers Alley. I'll try me luck in a few other spots, then meet you in front of the guild when I'm done. Remember, keep hidden, keep quiet, keep your waddles open. So I'm assuming... Uh, yeah. Use hide to gather information. Uh, I guess I have to go down. Oh, the Bismarck's the Culinary and Guild, so I don't have to go down quite yet. Uh, but I can Ethernet there. So that'll shorten this up a little bit. So... Who am I looking for? It's one of these people. Ugh, the sneer on that customer's face. Does he think I can command the skillet to cook more swiftly just to meet his pressing departure schedule? I don't know how things are done in the South Seas, but here in Limsa Lominsa, folk appreciate that fine cuisine. Cannot be rushed. Come now, Dove. You must not speak ill of the patrons. Now, what was next on my list? Uh, another finger sandwich for the dutiful sister. Someone there must be rather fond of eggs. Okay. So, let's just recast 20 seconds. Okay, yeah, it does have a 20 second cooldown. The only downside is, is... Okay, I can right-click on it to get rid of it. I'm sure there's probably some easier way I could get rid of it, but... Meh. Uh... Oh. The Fairy Docks, which is Fisherman's Guild and East Hawker's Alley, which basically I can just teleport to Hawker's Alley. The gloves, they are blue. Drolf is speaking in a low but lively tone to a nearby customer. Approach him while cloaked in your hide ability and attempt to eavesdrops, eavesdrop uh, stuff. Drolf is hawking his wares to a customer. You have quite an eye for quality, sir. We have a splendid range of produce from every corner of yours here, but one simply cannot visit Limsa Liminsa without sampling some of the local specialties. Would you care for some freshly squeezed Lenotian orange juice, or perhaps our famed salt cod is more your taste? Drolf continues to espouse the virtues of his merchandise, but his impassioned urgings appear to have little relevance to your assignment. So... So far, we do know that somebody who's in a rush to leave the city is looking for food and is irritated that it's not being cooked fast enough. my sense of duty would that I had stayed at the winch for that extra pint instead of returning early. I didn't ask to see anyone being bribed, and certainly not my relief pilot. I wonder what that merchant was about, smuggling most likely. I should report this to the should I report this to the yellow jackets? But what if I'm being watched? I could end up face down in the harbor. Don't worry. I heard all of what I need to know.
Welcome back, Katarina. I hope your skulking went well. You might be an angel of death to daggers, Dub, but any rogue which shuns the shadows is headed for an early grave. A sneaky mort can nose about without risking a scrap or slip herself into the best position to ambush a mark. Once they've seen ye, though, your rum fun is done. Hiding is part of concealment and part distraction, and you won't be disappearing on a cove what already knows you're there. So you can't hide in combat, which was already to be expected. All right, I'm done prattling. What you manage to learn about our musket buying merchant friend? Slipped a coin to a fairy pilot, was he? And by what you heard from that chef at the Bismarck, this trader means to hop the twig and soon. That matches with me own findings. He's vacated his rooms at the inn and paid his dues in full. Being a merchant, we can be sure he won't be leaving without his merchandise, so here's the plan. We wait for him to stack his goods on the pier, and then you can ghost and gravel them firearms. I'm hoping we get the job done quiet and under cover of dark mans, but it never hurts to be prepared for the worst. Sounds like he's got a small army of sail swords on the payroll. I'll send word to the Yellow Jackets and have him post a call near Hawker's Alley. That way you won't have far to bolt once you've bitten the goods. The mark should be along any moment, Katarina. Have you got your skulking boots on? Your bottle's well level 14, you'll be synced. Ooh. Instanced time. Which is kind of be expected for a combat area in a city. Use hide to retrieve the stolen firearms. Okay, so basically, don't get seen. Stolen firearms are up there. Okay, here's my biggest concern. Oh, never mind. Concern alleviated. You did me a favor of moving. I mean, it's pretty obvious he's standing next to you. Grab them, and he's gonna be pretty angry. You! You're not supposed to be here! I thought I ordered my hirelings to keep this jetty clear! Hmm. One, two, three. There's one missing! My crate of muskets! It's gone! <laughs> Thief! Stop her, you useless sluggards! What am I paying you for? Yeah. That's the way they do these things. Everything is always really... The, the helper NPC is always really strong. So. Oh well. You know, I really should have put... Nah, and it's gonna take him long enough to die. That'll probably still be worth it. I could be wrong. So I need to get up to Hawker's Alley. So the best way there is this way. Well, wow, there is a lot of hired people sitting on this deck. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Unpleasant, but okay. I don't... I don't quite know how the sneaking mechanics in this game work, because obviously they've just been added for one. I mean, technically they still use the same as, I would assume, the gathering classes, which means that... 
things around your own level you can sneak super close to. Alright, these are our stolen muskets. The quartermaster will be pleased. Okay, so I will go back down to the uh, Rogue's Guild. I guess I can sprint now. What happens if you hide while sprinting? Does it disable sprint, or... You just move quick ish while hidden. Okay. There is a trait. Uh, Shadow Stalker, level 32, allows for quicker movement while hitting. Hitting? Hidden. But, me. We'll get there eventually. That turned hairy, didn't it, Dove? Once you reached the Yellow Jacket, the, or once you reached the Yellow Jacket, though, the merchant called off his blades. Wise enough to cut his losses, I'll give him that. I'd say we're all done here. Let's head inside and tell Jack the Bean News. Ben? I don't quite know how I'm supposed to say that word. I'm assuming it's some, like, old British term. I heard the sounds of fighting coming from outside, and now I've whittled the cause of it. I thought we were aiming for subtle on this job. That many swords was there, but you got the yellow jackets they wanted, so all's well, all's well that ends well, eh? You're on your way to becoming a first-class rogue, Katarina. I the job didn't unfold exactly as planned, but do you see the value of keeping out of sight? Skulkin might seem slow, but it can save you time and a fair amount of bleeding in the long run. True that. Uh, speaking of unexpected developments, I've had a bit of bad news for you, Vikeb. I searched high and low, but it seems some unprincipled cove has yaffled your sandwich. There were not but crumbs to be found. No, my sandwich! It was a Bismarck special! Do you know how much I was looking forward to that meal and me belly's about ready to cave in on itself? Tis a tragedy of the highest order, love, and you know I can't bear to see me rogues in such distress. So I gave Underfoot a special assignment. He should be back any moment now. With a freshly made Bismarck special finger sandwich. You did that for me? You're not j yapping with me, are you, Jack? This ain't no yapping matter. Tis a guildmaster's responsibility to see that all his coves and morts are at the best for the job. Ah, Jack, there you are. I've got that sandwich he ordered. And didn't the chef give me a waterfall when I, when I said we was in a hurry? Maybe next time you could think twice before ye yaffle a fellow rogue so... Oh, bollocks. Jack? Did you eat my supper? Now, now, lass, let's not be hasty. That's a fresh new sandwich right there for ye. No harm done, eh? Ye've cloyed something what belonged to me, Jack, and I can't ignore the code. Uh, aye, the code. We mustn't ignore the code. You're having a laugh, aren't you, lass? Lass? That might be the swiftest string up I've ever seen. A f punishment to fit the crime. Take a good long look, Katarina. The code exists to preserve peace in Limsa, to keep the alleys from running red with blood. The city's me home, and I'll draw daggers on any co fool enough to threaten that peace. A pointed lesson. Let's head inside, eh? Your sandwich will get cold. Why message me on Steam now? Hey, do you mean to leave me here all night? At least give me a grand view of the harbor. God's pissed these ropes are tight. And now we find ourselves indebted to the Rogues Guild. The Rogues Guild. Seems the, uh, the Yellow Jagger soldier is not happy. Hm, the impropriety of it all. What I could... L would that I could see them occupying a cell next to those thieving pirates. And so, 
the story deepens. Uh, speak with Jack, who's apparently no longer being strung up on a rope. Oh, them ropes leave it. Those ropes will leave chap marks for a bleeding week. I may have wriggled myself free, but that's the last time I let me belly do the thinking. And just think, the keb strung me up over an egg sandwich. Those coves that, well, and tr truly stomp on the code get it far worse. Keep up your training, lass, and you'll soon be handing out rogue justice yourself. Uh... Guess I'll go with the jackboots. Sure look funny with my purple kex. Oh, that is the level 10 quest. Uh, when we next meet on this topic, we'll be doing the level 15 quest. But for now, have a good day.